Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got another sneaker pickup. It's from Hibbit Sports. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, it's been a little while since I've got a sneaker pickup from Hibbit's. I was getting a lot from them there for a while. I wanted to get this sneaker. I saw it on East Bay, and it showed, well, I'm, I'm sure you all are familiar, it'll show that they had your size in stock. You click on it, and it won't let you add it to cart, and it says, sorry that uh, it's out of stock or whatever. So that happened to me. I was going to go the StockX goat route and uh, pay 25 over retail to get them. I check all the major online sites daily, and Hibbit Sports actually showed it in stock, and I was able to add it to cart, so I was able to score it for the 125, which it retails for. So, got the gold jump man, size 12, of course. You already know what it is from the title of the video. Got the gold 23s in the tissue paper. Checking the bad boys out. All right, so I got the Jordan 1 Mid, a.k.a. Carbon Fiber, a.k.a. 2021 All-Star. And it's ironically today is the 2021 NBA All-Star game here in Atlanta. I ordered these on Friday. They just got delivered to me today on Sunday. So uh, I thought that was kind of cool that it showed up the same day as the All-Star game. So I know a lot of people aren't fans of mids. I have got rid of a lot of my mids. I mostly um, held on to the ones that favor OG colorways. I did some customs on, but I'm also a fan of the, um, some of the patent leather Jordan ones. I know a lot of people don't like patent leather because of the creasing and stuff, but you can put um, you know sneaker shields in them to help prevent that. You know, and just don't wear them on a daily basis, and you can you know keep them looking good for a long time. But I know the camera can't do it any justice, but I'll, um, I'll show a close-up on the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But all the black areas have that carbon fiber look to it, if the light hits it the right way. Uh, very dope. Um, there is a high version of this shoe that's not patent leather, but the same color blocking that I wanted, but the resale was like insane on it. So this was the, the way to go to be able to obtain the look. I think the high version that's just done in regular leather um, in my size is like in the seven eight hundred dollar range so uh, very dope this makes my fourth uh, patent leather Jordan in my collection so I have this one uh, got these and, uh, these are my 2003 Jordan 1 Chicago's. I wore them to Sneaker Con and a few times. I used to have two pairs of those and sold one. Now I see how much they resell for. I regret selling the other one for what I did. And got those, of course. This is my only high top version out of all the patent leathers. So, a few things different. I noticed right off the bat on the tongue, it has the Jumpman done in a circle instead of the Jumpman Air. Which is different. Um, kind of reminds me of the heel on these that were um, that were some Nike IDs I made several years ago. So that's, that's what the logo remind me of. So all the white areas is done like in a regular type leather, which you know they don't show much love to the mids and lows usually when it comes to material wise and all the black areas even the swoosh is all done in the patent leather with that carbon fiber look even on the insoles got the the Jumpman logo done in the circle, which is different. And you know, the last couple of years I've been leaving the Jumpman off the hill, which I, I, I like that a lot. Um, got the white iconic wings logo.
They do not appear to come with extra laces, which I would leave the black in anyways. So I've got the all black tongue done in that nylon type, type material. So like the color blocking, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you the, um, the detail on the carbon fiber. So hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. And until next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace. Then just trim my claim to fame Mafioso be the clip There's 